For decades, researchers have explored why some HIV-positive individuals naturally resist AIDS progression, even without antiretroviral therapy art. A recent multiomic study by the IRC Kaixa AIDS Research Institute sheds light on the unique immunity of these rare individuals, called viremic non-progressors VNPS. Understanding their resistance to disease progression could open new doors for HIV treatments. The Significance of Antiretroviral Therapy and Limitations since its advent in 1987, ART has been revolutionary for HIV management, turning it from a fatal diagnosis into a manageable condition. Despite this, some patients on ART struggle with partial immune recovery, leaving them vulnerable to other health issues. This gap underscores the need to explore alternative mechanisms of HIV control, such as those found in VNPs, who are viremic non-progressors. Viremic non-progressors, or VNPS, are exceptionally rare, comprising less than 0.1% of all HIV-positive adults. While most HIV-infected individuals progress toward AIDS due to declining immune function, VNPS maintain stable levels of CD4 plus T cells and resist disease progression, even with high levels of viral replication. This resilience piqued researchers' interest, leading them to investigate what sets VNPS apart from typical progressors, key findings from the multiomic analysis. In the study titled Host Genetic and Immune Factors Drive Evasion of HIV-1 Pathogenesis in Viremic Non-Progressors, researchers applied multiomic analysis on 16 VNPS and 29 progressors. Multiomic analysis integrates various biological data like genomics and immune profiling to provide a comprehensive view of how genetic and immune factors work together to protect VNPS from AIDS. The genetic factor, the CCR5 Delta 32 mutation. One major discovery was a genetic link. VNPs were more likely to carry a mutation in the CCR5 gene, known as Delta 32, with 53.8% of VNPS having this variant, compared to only 16% of progressors. The CCR5 Delta 32 variant affects the CCR5 receptor, which HIV typically uses to enter immune cells, Individuals with this mutation exhibit lower CCR5 expression on CD4 plus T cells, reducing their susceptibility to HIV infection at the cellular level. Why CCR5 Delta 32 matters. The lower presence of CCR5 receptors on immune cells means HIV has fewer doorways to infect these cells. This reduced entry point, combined with the mutation's effect on immune response, helps VNPS keep HIV at bay without relying on ART. This discovery highlights the potential of gene-based treatments targeting the CCR5 receptor. Cellular immunity lower HIV DNA in blood cells. Beyond genetics, VNPs showed significantly lower levels of HIV DNA in their peripheral blood mononuclear cells, which include various types of immune cells, as well as in their CD4 T cells. This indicates that VNPs may experience partial cellular protection against HIV further contributing to their resistance to disease progression. Immune response patterns in VNPs. Another unique feature of VNPs lies in their immune response. Higher levels of naive CD8 plus T cells VNPS had higher numbers of naive CD8 plus T cells compared to progressors. Naive CD8 plus T cells haven't yet encountered antigen substances that trigger immune responses, and this higher count suggests VNPs might be better prepared to respond to new threats, including HIV mutations. Fewer activated memory CD8 plus T cells Memory T cells are typically primed to fight previously encountered antigens. VNPs ENPs have fewer of these, indicating their immune systems avoid chronic activation a state that's associated with immune exhaustion in HIV-positive individuals. It These characteristics suggest that by maintaining a lower baseline of immune activation, VNPs prevent chronic inflammation and immune exhaustion, two factors that significantly contribute to HIV progression. Apoptosis in CD4 plus T cells. The study also found that VNPs experienced lower rates of apoptosis, or programmed cell death, in their CD4 plus T cells. Apoptosis is an essential cellular process, but excessive cell death can weaken the immune system. By preserving CD4 plus T cells, VNPS maintain a healthier immune system, giving them an advantage in the fight against HIV. Interferon-stimulated genes, a unique RNA signature. 
A particularly striking finding from single-cell RNA sequencing in VNPS was the downregulation of interferon-stimulated genes across multiple immune cell types. Interferons are proteins that cells produce in response to viral infections, typically signaling nearby cells to heighten their antiviral defenses. This effect was observed in various immune cells, including myeloid cells, CD4 plus T cells, CD8 plus T cells, or NK natural killer cells. By limiting interferon signaling, VNPS seem to avoid overactivating their immune systems, helping them maintain immune balance even in the face of ongoing HIV replication, gut integrity, and immune activation. Another important finding was the link between gut health and immune activation. VNPs had lower levels of zonulin, a protein that can indicate gut barrier disruption. This suggests VNPS may experience less leakage from the gut, which is significant because gut integrity is closely tied to inflammation and immune health. Maintaining a healthier gut barrier likely reduces chronic immune activation, providing VNPS with an added layer of defense. Tryptophan metabolism lower levels of anthranilic acid. The metabolomic analysis of VNPS revealed lower levels of anthranilic acid, a product of tryptophan degradation. Elevated anthranilic acid levels have been linked to immune activation and CD4 plus T cell loss in HIV progression. The lower levels of this byproduct in VNPs may further explain their resilience, as it suggests reduced immune activation and CD4 plus T cell depletion. Lessons for future HIV research and treatment. The findings offer new insights into HIV resistance, providing a roadmap for future treatments that could mimic VNP characteristics. By designing therapies that lower chronic immune activation, reduce gut barrier disruption, and promote CD4 plus T cell preservation, researchers hope to replicate the VNPS resilience in the broader HIV population. The study's authors believe these insights could eventually lead to treatments that reduce reliance on art and improve quality of life for HIV-positive individuals. The multiomic analysis of viromic non-progressors has uncovered a unique combination of genetic and immune mechanisms that protect these rare individuals from AIDS. From the CCR5 Delta 32 mutation to unique immune responses and gut health markers, VNPS provide a powerful model for future HIV interventions. This research not only adds a new dimension to our understanding of HIV, but also points toward innovative treatment pathways that could help millions manage HIV without the need for lifelong antiretroviral therapy. And that is it in today's video. Don't forget to subscribe for more updated videos, and if you enjoy this content, like, comment, and share.